Oh my God. Time to pack up. We are headed uh, more towards Western Cape today. We want to spend some time down by the beaches to see some penguins, but we completely destroyed this room, so it's going to take quite a long time to pack up our car and take a little little road trip. <laughs> I'm sad that it's rainy and cloudy. Drink coffee. Okay. To make me sad and hyper. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be a handful later. <laughs> today was to drive the coast and check out Camps Bay and Chapman's Peak Drive, but the weather isn't exactly cooperating. Luckily, South Africa has an amazing coffee culture, so we found a cute coffee shop in Camps Bay. And we are camped out here for a little while, getting some food and some caffeine. We're camped out in Camps Bay. Excuse my pun. It has stopped raining. Unfortunately, it's still cloudy though and kind of on the cool side, but we came across a really cool tidal pool. Um, so I wanna take an Instagram photo there and it's kind of nuts because the water is cold and the beach isn't the cleanest, but I have this vision and I wanna make it happen. So I've got my little red bathing suit on and doing it for the gram. <laughs> got in. Ah, <laughs> uh, the birds don't like the drone. But they're seagulls, so who cares? <laughs> we won't, we won't put that in the vlog. Sorry. <laughs> it was cold, but it was all right. It was hard to stay afloat. Yeah. But hopefully we got something good out of it. Worth it? Worth it! I don't know if it was worth spending $20 on this towel, but... Well, it is now that I'm out. <laughs> now that we've taken way too much time doing that, we're going to head south along Chapman's Peak Drive and get to our Airbnb for the next two nights. Hello, welcome. <laughs> this is our Airbnb for two nights in Simonstown, South Africa. Uh, if you don't know, that's where the Boulders Beach is with the penguins. So come on in. This is the little kitchen, dining area, living room. This cool staircase going up to the bedroom. Can't beat this view. I love the brick and the high ceiling with the beams. It's really cool. And this light fixture is kind of scary right over the bed, but. <laughs> And then a little bathroom back here. Shower, bathroom tour, fancy toilet. Check out this window. Sometimes baboons come into town, so I'm looking for them. I haven't decided whether I want to see them or not because they're kind of mean, so. Boulder's Beach is closed, so we're gonna try to go there tomorrow, but we're at Water's Edge right now, which has a few penguins, and before the sun sets, we're gonna go down and see them. They're so cute.
it started to get dark. We had to leave the beach with the penguins, unfortunately, but we came to dinner at this place our Airbnb host recommended called Black Marlin. And it is fine dining, but it's very inexpensive. This was $3 US. And it's a seafood restaurant and everything is $9, $10. Cheers. just had a wonderful dinner and I am so tired now. We're gonna call it an early night and tomorrow I'll get up early and go to Boulder's Beach and see some more penguins. So good night. Good morning. The weather is kind of interesting here. It's been super windy all morning except it looks to have calmed down a little bit so we're gonna go to Boulder's Beach and see some more penguins. It just started raining. Can't really see it, but we can't really have the camera out when it's raining and it's looking kind of gray, so it might rain harder. So maybe we're gonna go get some breakfast first. Okay, let's go. We just had a nice breakfast at the Monocle and Mermaid Cafe. It was very affordable. It was like three US dollars for breakfast, which was wonderful. And it's not raining anymore, which is good. So we're gonna go back and see if we can get down to the penguins, finally. <laughs> Not about to be chased down by a giant guinea pig. <laughs> cool. On the south end of Boulder's Beach, you can walk right onto the sand with the penguins. However, beach access is a little bit tricky. just visited the part of Boulder's Beach where you can go down onto the beach with the penguins. It was really fun, except there's a lot of people, so I definitely recommend coming early when they open, which is usually about eight o'clock. We just didn't this morning because the weather was not cooperating. You definitely get close to the penguins. Sometimes this is unavoidable, but we saw people who got too close to them, um, which you definitely should not do. Don't approach them. Don't try to take selfies with them. They're wild animals and they deserve our respect, but it was fun. Go early so there's less people, especially in that area because there's a lot of rocks and it's really hard to get around. Now we are going to Musenberg Beach. Uh, you've probably seen it on Instagram. It's the one with all the colorful beach houses. We're gonna get some lunch there. run the gamut over the last few days. It's been windy and rainy and cloudy and sunny. sunny. So now it's super windy and I'm cold, but we came to Musenberg to shoot these colorful beach shacks for Instagram. Yeah, it's definitely an adventure. 
every day. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be worth it to get the Instagram. After Musenberg Beach, we decided to do the Chapman's Peak Drive again. The weather was a little better the second time. We made it back to Camps Bay, but we had a little trouble with the wind. We decided to come back to our Airbnb a little bit early because we have a really early flight to Johannesburg tomorrow. We're starting our Kruger National Park Safari Adventure, which I'm really excited about. So if you'll excuse me, I have to go pack and I will see you in the morning. Our time in Cape Town has come to an end. We had so much fun. It was definitely not enough time, but we are continuing on our trip. We're flying to Johannesburg today and we're gonna drive to Kruger National Park and go on safari. If you wanna see what we get up to in Kruger, make sure you check out the safari vlog. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you liked in the comments section and make sure as always to hit that subscribe button. All right guys, until the next video, this is the Awkward Tourist.